Good morning. I thought I'd share this next tip via a live video. So I want to talk about um, toxin treatments. Broadly speaking, patients will fall into four groups. The first group is patients that have no lines at rest and when they um, contract their muscles, no lines appear. That's group one and they are too early for Botox um, toxin treatments. So no lines at rest and when they contract their muscles, no lines appear. Group two are those patients that have no lines at rest, but lines appear when they contract their muscle. These patients are ideal for toxin treatments because we know 100% um, causation of those lines are caused by the muscle contraction. So no lines at rest, but when they contract, the lines appear. Group three patients are, they have some lines at rest, but when they contract their muscles, those lines either get worse or new lines appear. So we do know there's some element of muscle contraction with those patients. So we will still treat those patients with toxin. But I always warn group 3 patients that I cannot guarantee to get rid of their lines at rest. So they have lines at rest, but they do worsen on contraction of muscles. Group 4 are patients that have lines at rest, but when they contract their muscles, nothing happens to those lines. They are too late because there's no muscle element that is causing those lines. So if you give them toxin, they're going to not get the desired result. They won't be happy. So group 1 is too early. No lines at rest, no lines at contraction. Group 2 is ideal. No lines at rest, lines on contraction. Group 3 we also treat. Uh, those patients are lines at rest that do worsen when they contract. But we obviously we have to give them a warning. We can't get rid of the lines at rest. And group 4 are too late. So they have some lines at rest. But when they contract, nothing happens to those lines. So that's the four groups that most patients fall into. The other thing I want to cover with this tip today is about combination of toxin and filler treatments. So if there is ever a muscle element to the lines, for example, maybe smoker's lines, um, corners of the mouth, marionette lines, I always treat the muscle element first. So I always do toxin first because I want to relax the muscle and see what's happening at rest after that. And then I may do fillers. The problem is if you don't do toxin and there's a muscle element your fillers are not going to give you the desired result also they want the effects of the filler won't last as long because the muscle element is still working so doing today's tip i talked about the four groups that patients fall into and also where you've got a combination of toxin and filler always do the toxin first eliminate the muscle action then your filler will get a better result and also last a lot longer thank you for listening and i look forward to sharing my next tip with you